come, hear me little Jackie, no I've smoked me bucky, have a bit of cracky, till the boat comes in. Dance to the daddy, sing to the mummy, dance to the daddy, to the mummy, sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. You're the Fijian prisoner? Nobody else in the world feeds you like this. Thanks, ma'am. You can fetch that with you, eh? Well, where are we going, Doc? The shop. The work be done. Oh, for heaven's sake, I can't even finish drinking this tea. So you can wait, work, can it? Doc. Now yeah, what? Turn round, Doc. Let's look at you. Well, what? Oh, I can see you haven't changed, Doc, not a bit. No more of you. You're still dodging work. Oh, come on. Wait, Doc. I said wait, Doc. Get off, will you? I'll even say, please, if you like, man was always one for good manners. Well, hurry up and get it over with. The store's to be humped. Are you going to stop here and let your mother do it? Look, while I'm here. I did three months, Doc. Ah, no, I can read the papers. Wasn't the Sunday school open? It wasn't supposed to be. More like an education. Oh, aye, and what do you learn in prison then? Sewing meal bags. Oh, they teach you a bit more than that. Like dodging the bobbies and thieving. Out of belt the chaps with the marks don't show. You'd be surprised what you learn in prison. Date prostitutes, for instance. You shut your dirty mouth. Tom. Yes, ma'am. You're home, son. It's over. Prison chaplain says it's never over. Not till the day you die, but even he didn't say I hadn't changed. Well, hasn't our Billy changed? Well, what the hell's that got to do without? Well, Billy's a doctor. He's finished college, doll, like me. Aye, and he's working for his living, and that's not like you. Oh, I'll work all right. You'll see to that. Well, not a bat you get out of me till I've seen the bear. The bear's all right. Well, of course he's all right. He's been with Mum, but I want to see him. You'll see him later. In the meantime, there's a clear of pineapple chunks upstairs, and I want them down here now. They won't sell up in your bedroom. How do we have them fetch them? No, da. What did you say? Not till I've seen our Tommy. Shop! You bugger, I'll fiddle you later. But if that fell in the shop wants pineapple chunks on you, how do we have them get them? Anymore. Couldn't be, ma'am. Not after. Ah, well, maybe it's not such a bad thing at that. Just want to be left alone, ma'am. Left in peace. There's plenty of us want that. Precious few of us gets it. Dolly, you've made a palace. Oh, God. What's the matter? Your work's finished. Mine hasn't even started. Oh, you and Matt will soon tidy the garden up. Yeah. You do like it, though, don't you, Chuck? Those jukes were envious. I thought we'd have our tea in the other room. I we will when we have company, but today we'll have it in the kitchen. Oh, but Jack, I like I... kitchens, bunny lass, and so do you. We've lived in them all our lives. Anyway, I might drop crumbs on the carpet. Oh, <laughs> You really do like it, though. It's what I've always wanted. So you're happy? Never happier. You mean that? Of course I mean it. Only with me leaving school at 12 and going into service. And You've that. made this place, pet. Started with bricks and mortar and made me a mansion where a lot of college girls wouldn't have known where to begin. Do you think old Matt's going to be all right? He'll be as happy as a pig in muck. He has to start in the garden. And you're sure you want him here with us? I am. I wonder where I can keep my eye on him. He never told us why. Matt's the sort of fellow that believes what he's told every time. And sometimes people tell him lies, and that could lead to trouble. Because uh, he's your assistant. Because he's Matt. And somebody has to look out for him. Oh, well. Just as you say, Jack. There's a good lass. Come on, let's have this tea. You know, you said something else once, Jack. Always oh, Gavin, that's me. You said when the time was right, we could adopt a child. Is the time right now, Jack? 
Was he all right? As good as gold. Ah, oh, there's a clever lad. Oh, Tommy. Careful, mister. It's a bit nervous for strangers. Ding, baby, Minnie. Be careful, Bet. It is dark. Your son. Yeah, it's my son. Oh, yeah. It's been away for a bit. Huh? Big man. By you and Tommy's the model of him, isn't he? By Mummy's the model of Mary, isn't he? <laughs> Happy now, are you, son? Happy? Aye, I've got all I need. How are you, Tommy? Hey, I'd best go home some pineapple chunks. Mm, I might have known. There's only one spade. Besides, my likes garden. You don't. I took enough trenches in the war. You've been spending all my money. Well, you and Matt will be wanting to send a dinner, I suppose, even if you have gone up in the world. Well, I haven't. Beef. So long. We've gone up in the world, all right. A few weeks ago, it was scrag. Well, a few weeks ago, we had nothing. We should celebrate our first week in the new house. Hey. How do you set about it? Adopting the bin? Well, all right, in one of the adoption societies, I suppose. I'll, I'll get Miss Laidlaw to do it on Monday. Get your secretary to write. I'll dictate it to her. It's what she's paid for. Oh, I'd sooner do it myself, Jack, if you'll help us. All right. Doesn't seem right your secretary doing it. I've said I'll help, Dolly, but just you remember, I haven't said we'll do it yet. Needs a bit thinking about. Oh, but you did say we could have a look. It's all we need to make it perfect, Jack. But it wouldn't be our ban. Oh, but it would, man. We'd make it ours. Oh. Oh. I hope you've left us some of that. I've earned it. And I hope you'll wipe your boots out on that. I don't want you bringing your muck in here. Oh, it's you and muck I'm digging. All right, I wipe my feet. And use the scraper. Yes, now I can have me beer. Gee, it seems funny you two not working on the Saturday morning. What do you mean not working? My back's just about broken. Fancy walk down the blue bell? We tram ride now, Matt. Plenty of pubs nearer. Well, I'd sooner go to the blue bell. Oh, I'm sick, eh? Come on. No, I better take another look at that compensation case. Harry Duffy? Aye, that's right. Need any help? No, you're going to get yourself a pint. Have one for me, you know. Ah, uh, thanks, Jack. I'll be seeing them. Shall I bring some uh, fish and chips back? No, I'm making a proper meal. Sure, a bit of breeding, Matt. A penneth of each in Lavender Avenue, the idea. I wish our Matt wouldn't keep on saying thank you. Aye, me and all. You working in here? There's a fire in the front room. Oh, it's another bit company. What happened to this Harry Duffy fellow? Oh, something went wrong with the lathe. They lost three fingers. Oh, my poor fella. Aye, and you said I didn't work on a Saturday. Will it not keep them? There's more ways of enjoying yourself, Bonnie Lass, than a tram ride to the Blue Bell. Enjoying yourself? Jack, that's a man who's been hurt. Oh, he has. And that's why the game started. Game? That's right, game. And if I couldn't play it, Harry Duffy wouldn't get a penny. Not there, you fool, over here. Wait till I get me breath back. Oh, you went soft in prison, did you? Soft. All right. All right, where do you want it? Oh, there with the others. That's the lot. We'll take the top off, can you? Don't expect a cripple to do it. Here, use this. Did Mum have to do this? Huh? Pumping crates. She brought the things down a few other times. She couldn't manage a whole crate. Well, I can't do it. We've got other stuff to sell. Oh, it's a good job I came back. Is it? Right. I'll leave you to it. Hey, empties. Ah, oh, you want your pound of flesh, don't you, Dar? Look, this is a commercial business I'm running, not a charity, and the sooner you realise that, the better. Well, you never thought I'd be homesick for prison. Here I am, missing it, my first day. Tom was taking you, sir. The only seat now in here was a minor. This chap was a minor. Bill Satan. He had a pit accident. He keeps his shop now. Be a family man. I believe he was. He'd have a son, maybe. Maybe he was. Two sons and a daughter. One of the sons called Tom. What are you after, mister? Oh, I've got a message for him. They're a mate of mine, that's all. Tom's already now, not as far as I know. Where is he? Do you know that? Aye, I do, but I don't think he'd thank me for telling you. Well, suit yourself, Mike. It's only a message. <laughs> don't suppose you would know what I might find a fella called Jack Ford? Another message? Yeah, I owe him something. I'll feel better once I've paid it back. That's all right, Christian spirit you've got. I never forget a dead friend. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jack Ford, did you say? That's right. That's the name of our union secretary. But there could be owners of Jack Ford around there. What union, friend? Fitters. Uh -huh. Youngish fella, slim belt. That's right. You could try him at his office some one day. Yeah, I could, couldn't I? Thanks. Hello, Matt. Didn't see you there. How are you, Stan? Champion. I was in your job. Hard work. I suppose I'll get used to it. Mr. Headley, it's the fellow you're just now looking for Mr. Ford. Oh, I? Scots fella. He said you owed Jack Ford money. Well, I didn't know Jack knew any Scotsman. Never mind lend them money. Tell me you've moved. Aye. Posh place? Mansion. You've gone a long way, Matt. Oh, don't worry. I'll never go far from here. Not so long as I serve beer like the Blue Bell. See you later, Lagley. Can I have a word with you, Mr. Edley? Hurry! Of course, want to drink? Oh, no. Sit down. Ah. Aunt Plenio? Aye, it's like hell. What's the doctor say? Well, I only saw him on Thursday. It wasn't so bad then. Oh! Clumsy cat, can't you see he's been hurt? All right, Matt, all right. I'm sorry, man. That bad? It's like knives. Oh, wait. Where are we going? To find your doctor. I only saw him on Thursday, Mr. Edley. I'm not that flush. Well, let the union worry about Ben. Wait. Hi, right, come in. Hello, Tom. Well, Jesse. Me, fine. Where's Mum? She's out with Tommy. Dad? Dad's giving himself a treat. He's counting the till. I didn't know you were that keen on making mats. I'm not. You don't suppose I'm allowed to sit here idle, do you? Dad. Aye. He took it badly. Well, I worked that out for myself even if I didn't get to college. You're angry because I didn't come to see you. It's your life, Jessie. Mine and Arthur's. Aye. I don't suppose it'll do him much good having a convict for a brother-in-law, will it? He stuck up for you, you know. Did he? Yes, he did. Spoke out against Dad and a lot of other people at all. Just didn't want you to come and see us. It's different now you're home. Is it? Yes, it is. He wants you to come over, have tea. But you must have used the thumb screws on him. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Do you want a cup now? All right, champion. Oh, Billy says you were badly treated. I didn't say so. It's what he suspected. Is it true? Well, Jesse. I don't want you to start any crusades because of me. Oh, Tom. Isn't there anything I can do? Aye, there is. Give us a hand with this bloody mat. Here, come on. So, you've got yourself a hobby, have you? Why, it'll be fretwork next. Oh, well, hard work never killed anybody, Matt. Why, I'm a cripple of you, though. Oh, I'm sorry, lad, I didn't see you. Come in and sit down. Where's Dolly? In the front room, writing a letter. I'd stay out of her way if I was you. Your dinner's been in the oven for two hours. It'll be rock hard by now. I met uh, Harry at the Blue Bell. I thought he'd better see a doctor, so I went with him. I haven't given trouble. Aye, uh, what's left of it? It's serious, Jack. I think we'll let him tell it, Matty. There's a couple of drinks. Come and sit down, son. Well, the doctor thinks it might be septic. We got the hospital for tests on Monday. If it is septic, then the handle will have to come off. Maybe it's half an arm and all. Dear God. So it mightn't come to that. I mean, if he's not sure. He was sure, all right. He was just covering his bets. I was going to get married next week. You'll get married, lad. You'll just have to postpone it for a while, that's all. What use would I be doing now? How could I provide for a, a one-armed man? You'll find you something, Harry. You've still got your right hand. Clarkin, maybe? Didn't nobody ever tell you, Mr. Ford. I was left-handed. No, son. Nobody ever told me. I'll fight for every penny I can. I'll need it, won't I? And you'll get it. You can rely on me. Oh, I do, Mr. Ford. I do. You better get him home, Matt. Oh, I hope you get one of that. Oh, uh, there was a fella looking for you in the bluebell. Oh, hi. Scots fella. Said he owed you money. <laughs> Beats me. Do I look like the sort of fellow who'd lend a Scotsman money? <laughs> <laughs> Just what I said. Did you see him, Matt? No, he, uh, he left before I got there. You sure he said money? Something I owe him, he said. You better get him home, Matt. Oh, and hurry, uh... 
Let's know if you see this Scotsman again, will you? I doubt I will, Mr. Ford. Not unless he ends up in hospital. Stranger things have happened, Bonnie lad. Aye. Where's he off to this day? Working. Oh, I'm working in a pub more lately. What about his dinner? Oh, sorry, Duffy. Seems his hand is worse than we thought. Oh, poor fellow. I'll finish my letter, Jack. I thought I'd slip down with it myself this afternoon. Can I read a tea? Aye, go ahead. Dear sir, I wish to inquire into the possibility of adopting a child from your orphanage. We are a couple in comfortable circumstances, and my husband is the district secretary of his union. He is sober, industrious, and honest. Maybe I am, but I wasn't always. Oh, surely that's all over with, Jack. People can't go on dragging up the past like that. There's some will try, believe me. Where have you been all day, my belly boy? I've been walking down the lane with me charming Nancy Cray. I'm me Nancy Cray, me fancy, oh, me charming belly boy. It's your fit to be a wife, belly boy, belly boy. It's your fit to be my wife, belly boy. Anybody know a shop called Seaton's? I gave Billy a message for Jack. Do you know if he passed it on? He did. You sure? I was there. Good marry, you said. The best. You need one in prison. Got you out of trouble, did he? He'd take a saint to do that. Now, Jack's no saint. What then? Leave it, Jess. I just wanted Jack to know I haven't forgotten. Hello, ma'am. You two look cosy. Well, it's worse than sewing meal bags. And a cup of tea, ma'am. Oh, yes, please. Where's the van? Can I do with Minnie? I should think it's the world of him. Lusha, and perhaps he'll let his dad have a look in one of these days. Just give it time, son. Time? Oh, yeah, I know all about that. Where's your dad? Still checking the till? Lost a farthing, likely. <laughs> oh, I better go and see. No, it's all right, man. Bring it to you. I'll go. Makes a change from proggy mats. <laughs> oh, what the hell's going on? Oh, that bloody chair's run away from us. Hey, what are you doing on your feet? Exercising. Exercising. Your legs, you fool. Don't need help. Go on, then have a good laugh. Good to see you for laugh, huh? Best humor in four colours. Mr. Rocks fell on his legs. That's a joke, I don't see it. <laughs> oh, give us a hand, will you, son? That's it. Not much to lift these days, have I? Well, you know what they say. Good stuff in little bundles. Yeah, and I'll give you a hail. Ah, well, maybe I deserved it. Magistrates thought so, anyway. I'm sorry, son. Don't, die. The things I miss, you see. Like run for a tram. Tell your mum for a walk along the pier. That old bike I used to have. Do you know I even miss walking up the back lane of a cool morning to meet you and go down by? Oh, well, that's one we both miss. If only I could get some feeling back in my legs, the bloody muscles are so hard. You feel anything? No, not yet. Started these exercises weeks back and all. But I will, you'll see. Hey, somebody come in just now. Hi, Mum's back. Jessie's here. Hey, mind you can say no to them about this. I'm doing this myself. All right, Dad. Word of honor? Word of honor. He was talking about Jack, if you must know. Oh, aye. A good marrow, he said. The best, till you cross him. I crossed him three weeks ago. I had to, ma'am. It was a matter of principle. Likely he'll make you pay for it. He already has. Had words, did you? Words like whips. Jack knows how to hurt. He always did. You've got a good man, you know, Jesse. I know that. A kind man, a caring man. So it's no good hungering after a black eye from Jack. Well, 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 that's what I like to see. Women at work. <laughs> What's got into you? Me, I'm chugging. Fancy some beer, son? Hey, hi. Oh, well, if we're celebrating, I'll have one and all. I wouldn't doubt it. Jesse? No, thanks. How's the shop, Dad? Oh, good week. Now all the debts is coming in. Well, you can't. First time I've heard you admit it. All right, maybe it won't be the last. Oh, there's no bloody peace. I'll go. No, you won't. Oh, Tom will. Me? Why, I come on, it's easy enough. The prices are marked. But I've never done that like that. Look, man. you've got to start sometime soon. No, had a way before the gun somewhere else. 
So you trust him, do you? Well, of course. As long as he doesn't start giving tick. <laughs> what can I do for you, mister? Five wood miles. That's Tuppence, please. Can you just start there? I'm helping me father. Tuppence. All right, Bill knows me. Tell him I've told you to put an escalate. No tick here, mister. Company rule. So either you give us Tuppence or give up smoking. Stop. Lee, yeah, I'm in trying, no, you won't. Ah, just so long as you know you won't succeed. Yeah. No sign of any Scotsman. Come again? I thought maybe we'd come here looking for Scotsman. You thought wrong, man. Did I? I oh, did. You worry, Jack, I can tell. I've known him long enough. This time's your worse than our dolly. A debt, Harry Duffy said. There's other debts and money. Leave it, man. I thought I knew everybody around here that you know. There's not a Scotsman among them. But then I was forgetting the time you were away for a month. Met him in prison, did you? I said, forget it. I can't, Jack. We're not Robin Hoods anymore. Stealing sheep to feed the poor. We well, were in officials, us men with responsibilities. Responsibilities, Jack. All right. We're, one, we're what you might call public figures now. Folks have got their eyes on us. Oh, for God's sake, give over. So if we're going to have to belt somebody, we'd better do it and no one can see us. <laughs> Chapel, Tom. Uh, no, thanks, ma'am. I'll, I'll wait here for the band to come back. You're right with Minnie. Said you used to go when you were away. Oh, well, that was different. Well, it's still seeing your prayers, singing hymns. It's not what they do in prison, though. Oh, what then? Have a bit of crack. Did the order stop you? At one time, they couldn't. What do you mean? Oh, you mean the parson wouldn't let them? <laughs> well, I knew I was the worst of the lot. No, we used to talk during the hymns. I mean, like, say, it was... Uh, Onward, Christian soldiers. Some of us have been singing the right words, and I've been singing uh, I have got some tabs for sale, cost you a half knee each. Well, See what I mean? Never. Like it might be, um, I am going to chapel, who will come with me? <laughs> but she's a proper old lag, isn't she? Well, they're supposed to be worshipping their maker. Wasn't their maker forbidding them to talk like Christians? You mean you really couldn't talk? Bring water if you're caught. The beast's allowed to make a noise. Even a pit pony. Yeah, you mind them, Tom, just before feeding time? Aye. I always knew. Why don't you go to chapel, Doc? Oh, have we? Hey. Uh-huh. Go on. Hey, well, maybe it's a court now. Oh, no, you're here. Well, you know, it's been here just since I've had a good sing. Of course it is, Pat. <laughs> yes, Hey, well, can he on, man? Hey. He's got a one. You've got plenty of time. You sure we've got time? Oh, well, yeah. Now, are you sure you'll not come with us, Tom? No, no, I'll take a bit walk, see if I can find Minnie in the bed. You can trot all the way, eh? <laughs> you know, that singing, it's as good as a game. We are going to chapel. Let's go to the <laughs> You missed something, you know, not coming. You mean God? Of course not. God's always there, you know that. No, I was thinking of the music and the words. Thou shalt not be afraid, for in a terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy side, but it shall not come nigh thee. No man living can write like that. Did you ever hear anything more beautiful? You were late. No, this time. Anyway, I was brought up chapel. You don't go there, either. I can't. I miss it, but I can't. Arthur, I know it sounds daft after what I've just said, but say a prayer for Tom, will you? I see it's been a good week for Scoutmasters. Mm -hmm. Scoutmasters? Cautioned and charged with committing an indecent act, the accused replied, that's what you get for devoting your life to the service of youth. He's another one. Percy George Hudson, Rover Scout leader. Oh, he fancies the mature type. When charged, he replied, my God, what will the wife say? <laughs> What's up with you? Well, what would she say, poor woman? <laughs> yeah, we had a couple in prison. You know the chance that have married each other, poor devils. Oh, you didn't hurt them? Me? No, some did. Couldn't you stop them? I had a full-time job looking after myself. Is Matt up? Who do you think made the tea? He's digging the garden. My God, he's keen. Come on, Matt! 
This time next year we'll have onions like elephants, nutters. Jack! There's no way to hear Bonnie Lass. Will you get back to bed? Suppose the neighbours were watching. Bit of a treat for him. All right. Come here. Hey, that's what they're doing to me. Little yeah, creep. Being greedy again. Like last night. Is there anything wrong with last night? Mm. In the trenches, just before a battle, I used to get as randy as hell. Oh, my husband uses such beautiful words. Well, listen, I'm scared rotten, you see. He took me that way. I wanted a woman that bad. Well, you're not scared now, are you? Yeah, I'm not scared, Dolly. Making up for lost time. <laughs> what was that you said about elephants? <laughs> <laughs> Nice day, Mara. Seaton. Well, well, Tom Seaton. Yeah. Just a man I've been looking for. I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, you're a hard man, Seaton. That's right. Yeah, and I think you're a right scared one and all. Maybe not scared enough, eh? Clear off. Wait now. You only clear off. I've got things to tell you, and I think you'd better listen. <sighs> all right, make it quick. I've been learning things about you. Lots of things. I like learning things about people. You never know when it's going to come in useful. Tell me, you're a married man, eh? My wife's dead. Ah, uh, so they told me. Your burden's not, though. You touch that burn and I'll... You know what, eh? You're not thinking, laddie. What can you do to me? Call the police, eh? Well, a bear's not harmed, is he? Not yet. It'll just be one old lag's word against another's. They would like to lock us both up. You'd not risk that. Oh, yes, I would. I've got nothing to lose. No bairn to care for. No mammy. Never hurt you. Oh, she gave birth to you, didn't she? Your Wayne and your mammy. Well, you have got something precious to lose. Two lives. Now, I'm not a sentimental man, but I'd be willing to bet you would give your life for either of them. Aye, I would. And you'd better remember that. Oh, I don't want to kill him. I might not even hurt him, if you're sensible. Well, what then? You've got to pay, see? And paying costs money. Now, I'll take what's in that till at your old man's shop. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking there's only the two of us and maybe you could fix me, eh? Well, I've got friends, good friends. I'm very lucky. And they know where to find you and your son and your mammy. So go and get what's in that till. I'll wait. And you'd better be back. There. Ah, that's a good lad. Here, keep the change. Now, after that, you can bring me 50 pounds. Don't be daft. Where did I get 50 pounds? Stephen, you've got it. Or if you haven't, you know how to get it. Now, bring it to me tomorrow afternoon. I'll be at the North Beach. Come alone. I'll have some friends with me. I don't like crowds. It's all right, Mr. Seaton. It's not me dinner time yet. I want them home, Minnie. No, now. Oh, yeah, Bonnie, Story to carry the pram. Aye. How are you? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Why on earth I let you talk me into coming all this way? I might be to Scotland, remember? Anyway, it's the best beer for miles. It's plenty good beer where we live. Where your roots are, Jack, where you belong. Mm -hmm. 
Pig belongs in a sty, is that it? I didn't no say... No matter how much you clean him up, a pig is still a pig. Harry Duffy drinks here when he can afford it. I'll take care of Harry, I've told you. I had a case in Glasgow exactly the same. I've written to the district secretary there. I've got us in a telegram, Matt. Well, it's Sunday, my corner. Wait till tomorrow. Matt will have to. Anyway, I can phone tomorrow. It'll be quicker if I phone. So you reckon Harry's got a good case? Harry? I'll take care of him, Matt. I'll take care of myself and all. Get a meal. Hills. What is it, sir? I met this fella. It's a fella I used to know in prison. He wanted money. Did he give him any? He said if I didn't, he'd, he'd harm young Tommy and you. Yeah, should have flattened him. He's got friends, though. So you gave him money? Had to. My money? I've got money of me one day. He'll get paid back. What you've got to stole, I won't touch it. You can not go to Bobby's. I'm a convicted thief. I wouldn't do it until it was too late. Well, look. Well, lad, if I had the use of these legs. Now, listen, get you and Tommy away. No, where can I take him? No, I'd just see him. Come in till then we can think of something else. Where about Arthur? You understand? That's okay. They'll be after Jack Ford and all. Oh, I might have known. What the hell was he up to? I haven't time, Dad. Look, ma'am, can you get a message to Jack? Right. Tell him where I'm going. Mm. But don't go yourself. Send me. All right. Huh? I'll best be off. How are you, Tommy? I'm sorry, Dad, but what else could I do? Oh, trouble. It never leaves you, Tom, does it? Wherever you go, it's never far behind. Ah, oh, but you mean well, son. I'll say that for you. Thanks, Tom. Okay, Mama. Now, listen. Lock this door and keep it locked. All right. All right. Come He does mean well. Oh, I always means well. What the hell use is that? Sorry to put you out like this. Not at all. Delighted to have you here. Tom. If you didn't mind me asking. He's asleep. He's a grand little fella, Tom. Aye, not much like his door, is he? What's happening, Tom? Look, I've, uh, I've sent for Jack Ford. He's in the snow. Jack? Is it to do with prison? Aye, it is. Look, if you don't like it, Arthur, I'll take him somewhere else, as long as I can leave the bairn here. But I've got to warn Jack. Is he in danger, then? We both are. Then you must stay here. Look, you better let me go. Seems bad. It does indeed. You're letting them stay? Provided there's no danger to you, if there is, go with Mrs. Ashton? Mr. Ashton? How do you do? Uh, a drink? Thanks. Big Mac. Aye, that's right. Harry was looking for me and all. Aye. If he finds out you're married... Aye, we'll have to fettle him. Tom has no else for it. Would you mind sitting down and tell me what's happening? Thanks. You haven't explained? I was waiting for you. It's a bit rough. You sure you want to hear it? I'm quite sure. It's up to you. Tom and me were mates in prison, Mr. Ashton. And we like a smoke. Oh, I'm sorry. Please help yourself. Only you're not allowed to smoke in prison, so instead they have what they call tobacco barons. That's uh, fellows who bribe a warder to smuggle in some tobacco so they can sell it. Rampant capitalism, Mrs. Ashton, 500% profit. Now, in Durham, we had two tobacco barons, and Tom and me was minders for one of them. Well, it's like, uh, it's like bodyguards. Only the other baron wanted to put our fellow out of business so he could shove his prices up. So he could have a monopoly. But how could he put you out of business? I mean, if it's all illegal anyway. Violence, Mrs. Ashton. Violence you wouldn't believe for half a pound of shag and a few matches. For the one pleasure you had. That's right. Only Tom and me got violent and all. Aye. We duffed the other baron. There's a Scots fellow called MacNeil. Belonged to a Glasgow razor gang. And the warders moved in. He didn't like it and he hit one. We got away and he didn't. What happened to him? They flogged him, Mrs. Ashton. With a cat and nine tails. They tell me he never yelled once. He reckons it's our fault. He wants us to pay. You want to pay, Tom? No, I'm not. Good lad. Yes, sir. Here, I'll get some water. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset her. Oh, it's not you. You can't help the way you are. It's... You're right, Pet. I haven't been very well, that's all. You never told There's me. There's no sense in worrying till we have to. So, off to the wars again, eh? What else can I do? You always have a good reason for fighting, don't you? Do you always fight? Where's Dolly? Gone to see Mum and Dar. Good thing and all. What were you on about? Something came for you while you were out. What? This. Through the front room window. Want to tell us about it, Jack? I'll have to now. But it's not your fight. Just tell it, and we'll see.
Bella? Mm-hmm. We're going to open the shop. Do you really think we should? I know we should. Just the two. For the sake of a few, Bob. That's not the money. Isn't it? No, it's not. This house has never been a prison, Bella. It's not going to start being one now. If you buy the look of you, do you think we're going back to the shipyard this afternoon? Well, I've got some rough pleasure to see. Oh, you must have. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to have a word with the polis. Fancy Baines hiding bricks through your front window. Oh, don't worry, Pat. I'll see to that. Okay. Are you going to be late back tonight? No, later they're going to help, Bonnie Lass. Oh, that'll be the post. What about the pick handles? In the briefcase. So we're going to warn style this time. Jack, I think it's from the orphanage. I'll read it. Dear Mrs. Ford, delighted to hear from you. Look forward to seeing you. Show you the children. Naturally, we require character references and evidence of financial stability. But the only real impediments, other than those of religious difference, are bankruptcy, lunacy and... Bankruptcy, lunacy and imprisonment, none of which I feel sure can apply to you. We'll never get a bed now. We'll find another way. <laughs> oh, be honest, Jack, there isn't another way. <laughs> You went to prison, man. I know I was to have a widow on a bed, but you still went inside. <laughs> Twenty-eight days. A debt to society, they said, and I thought I'd pay it. And once you start paying out, folks always come back for more. Till you make them stop. Hatton. You got it? Oi! Last have a turn. Right. I'll take my money off you. Wait, man. I want him conscious for now. You're going to wear that needle. Far, far away. And I will sell her out. And I spoke to Glasgow today. You know, I couldn't understand why you stayed down here instead of going back there. But now I know. You and a few of your mates did a job up there. A big one. And you took off with all the money. And they've been looking for you ever since. With these. Well, now they'll know where to find you. I made sure of that. Well, kill me. You're lucky we didn't. Now, oh, bugger off, man, while you can still walk. Wait a minute. How much did he have out of the till? What, three pounds? Well, that's four. Ta. And that'll pay for my window. Now, bugger off. <sighs> that. He has me worried for a bit, not seeing you. It's one thing we learned in France. Always keep your head down, no eh, matter. Anyway, we fettled him. I <laughs> we did. You've toughened up mine, haven't you? <laughs> About time. Oh, thanks, Jack. I better go and see if the bears are eat. I've seen you. So long. So long. You knew this Glasgow gang was after that fellow. Aye. Since I spoke with the Glasgow district secretary this morning. He knows a lot of funny fellas up there. And some of them have been looking for McNeil for weeks. Well, now they know where to find him. So we didn't have to find it all, did we? A threat would have been enough. Him and his mates deserve more than threats. They got it. But you had no right to risk it, Jack. You could have got hurt. Any of us could. I'm talking about you. If things had gone wrong, you could have been slashed or lost your job. Chance I had a take. That's what I thought. No, but I was wrong. Hell, man, you wanted this fight. When I thought there wasn't another way. But there was, and you knew there was. You had no right to do it, Jack. No right. Now, when Johnny relies on you, Harry Duffy, and hell of a lot like them. I'll have to wrap myself up in cotton wool now, have I? Yes, Jack, you have. As long as Fort leads you. Matt, it was just a fight. You're coming home? No, I'm not. And your dolly thinks we haven't got a bairn. Thanks to the dog.
daddy sing to the mommy dance to the daddy to the mommy sing Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the haddock when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the bloater when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the mackerel when the boat comes in Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy Thou shalt have the salmon when the boat comes in <laughs>